thanks for attending this session today. And uh, we talked a lot about sort of continuously learning and how important it is to really know your sector, mm -hmm. particularly when you're in the sort of consultative business. Just wanted to find out a bit more about how you do that, so sort of how you stay on top of the kind of regulation and the different changing uh, changes in the industry that impact your business. Yeah. Okay. So, so within recruitment, if you're a niche supplier in recruitment, as we are. Um, you have to understand your niche, uh, and so we focus predominantly on, on co commercial law firms advising, obviously, companies and financial services institutions, and then regulatory-led positions um, within financial services. Uh, and certainly since 2008, 2009, when, when loads of regulations have been coming in, we feel in order to genuinely be able to consult a client on who a good candidate is and, and, and who's available, we need to understand what they're talking about. We need to understand the regulations. We need to understand how those regulations are going to affect institutions. And, and similarly, how can we advise candidates if we don't know it's a good career decision, if we don't know if these regulations are here for simply to be implemented and then they can move on to a different role, their role becomes redundant, they should just do it as a contract and, and, and take something else. So we've constantly got to be monitoring the markets and looking, you know, having news alerts as to, as to what the Bank of England is saying, um, and understanding how institutions are being affected, how they're being split up, how they're, you know, forced demergers and, and what have you, and, uh, ever since the Vickers report, so that we can advise either party as to as to what is a good decision, either, either in hiring or, or taking a new job. Okay, well, what about actually learning about the process of, or of sort of being an entrepreneur in itself? So, you know, how, how you build a company and how you hire into your own team. I mean, is there any, any kind of resources you use to do that? Yeah. Um, well, I think the first thing I did was I, I, I think I, I, I bought the Financial Times Guide to Starting a Business. Uh, um, and that was everything from what do you call it to... Uh, understanding who does what within the business. I think, um, you know, we live in an era where it is v it's easier than ever to start a business. You know, it's very simple to register a company's house. IT costs, I think, um, you know, typically it would cost you thousands of pounds to get uh, all of the servers and everything that you used to need in a business. And now, you know, through cloud services, you can you can get them so cheap. So th th that's the first thing. It's easy to get up and running. But the the issues of learning how to balance cash flow and uh, learning when you really need to work late and w and when you don't and and just simple things when like when you're meeting with clients and they're asking, who are you? Having a good understanding of who you are and how you relay that to your clients so you understand your niche. So. Um, you learn on the job, but there are other resources out there now. We live in an era, a sort of unprecedented era of, of uh, access to information, um, be it you know, university talks, TED talks, lectures. There's a lot of help out there that previously you just wouldn't be able to get without going to an institution and, and paying thousands of pounds. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a constant learning process, uh, and, and everybody's able to do that nowadays. Great, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.